Hey everybody, it's Christy at Hooks and Horseshoes. How are you today? Um, it is February 24th. <laughs> um, and it has been a hot minute since I've made a video, so I wanted to get on today and share some of my projects, my finished projects that I've done in the past little bit. Um, so we'll just jump right in. Uh, recently, a couple, well, a while back, I was trying to work through my cotton stash and I did work through some of my cotton um, and so I was trying to find uh, easy quick cotton projects that weren't like dish rags or um, you know wash rags or anything like that <clears throat> so I found what's called the nature walk treasure bag by the firefly hook all these patterns that I'm going to mention today um, I will list below in the description box and you can also find it on Ravelry and if you're not part of Ravelry I'm sure that if you did a Google search for that you know the person that's by you can get to their page if it's not something that's strictly for Ravelry <clears throat> but I'll insert the picture here the nature walk treasure bags um, I remember using it was the Hobby Lobby little their little cakes of cotton but I think it was I think it wasn't a hundred percent cotton it was like so many percentage cotton so much acrylic um, but I gifted those to a co-worker this past Christmas for her daughters <clears throat> um, another cotton project that I, I worked on were I wanted to make some plastic bag holders you know for like when you go to you know your grocery bags and stuff <clears throat> so the some I don't have um, a lot. Some of the items that I'm going to mention today, I don't. I no longer own. They're not any longer in my possession. I have gifted them, but I do have pictures, so I'll put them up here. And the Nature Walk treasure bags are going to be one of them. Um, the two. Well, I made a number of plastic bag holders. I think total two, three, probably four or five, and I only have two of them here with me. Um, but anyway, the first one I want to share is I used I, um, I used this pattern to start the project, but this pattern is not what I created. Um, it's called the Hydrate Hydrate H two O Carrier. Um, I don't know why I didn't write her name down. But anyway, I'll mention it. I'll have it below. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know. I don't know what's going on uh, but anyway that is this and it's small it's on the smaller side the other ones that I made were you know probably this much bigger but it has still a little elastic in it and so it's a v-stitch and it'll hold your plastic bags or I guess or whatever else you may um, <clears throat> find use for but I thought it turned out pretty I'm going to gift that to someone this is um where's it I know I wrote it down blanket this is called the stacked shells grocery bag so this was specifically for plastic bags this this pattern by Katie Claire Clary C L A R Y stacked shells grocery bag um, I did this at work and I didn't have an elastic hair tie with me so I just did um, you know I chained so many and then connected but so it doesn't give but I think it would still work but it's um <clears throat> I thought it turned out pretty good and I will insert um, the other ones that I created that I no longer have because I've given away. They were also um, <clears throat> gifts that I gave away at Christmas to my coworkers. <clears throat> I am so sorry. I don't know what that is. Okay, so um, I made a phone size mesh bag by Marilyn Cochran. Um, this was some leftover yarn from It's just a little bag, <clears throat> but 
but this was one skein and I <clears throat> I also made um, a plastic bag holder with this yarn this is what was left over but let me show you what <clears throat> so it holds my phone thought it was cute but I imagine you can use it for other things I, I could always I think it would be neat to just make this really long like you know the kind it goes you know just drape it across your hip and stuff so it would be really long but <clears throat> I think it turned out good um okay so that's the cotton I also have some acquisitions that I'll share that I have had <laughs> for a hot minute but I just haven't posted well I did post on my Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen it there <clears throat> what time is it we got six minutes um so I've talked about the nature walk I'm gonna mark these off so I know I've talked about them let's see the phone size mesh bag okay so the next thing I want to talk about is I made a jellyfish for my nephew he was over at my house and he saw this book he is nine I think and he saw this book um, sitting in it was laying around and he saw it so he picked it up and he started looking through it and I he's just he started he's like can you make this and I was like absolutely he even put notes which I'll probably keep but he even took notes told me what he wanted and what page it was on what colors he wanted and I just thought it was super neat. But I'll insert a picture of that here. But it was the jellyfish. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I thought I had that stuck in there. I just thought it was neat that he just, I mean, he was like, he come and told me. Like, he come and told me about it. He's like, this is what I want. These are the colors I want. I was like, okay. He's like, you going to remember? I'm like, yeah, I'll remember. He's like, I'll feel much better if I could write it down. It's like, okay, go right ahead. <laughs> So, um, I made it for him, and like I said, you'll see a picture there. Oh, come on. But it was, um, it was a quick make, easy. I had fun making it. Here we go. <clears throat> the jellyfish. I uh, don't want to show the pattern, but, uh, his, like I said, you'll see have seen the picture different colors but I thought it turned out well um, he was happy with it and so that's that um okay so for the projects that I do have okay for one more thing I don't have in my possession it, it was one of those ripple blankets or the 12 star or 12 point star blankets but I call it it's the pattern I used as the rainbow ripple baby blanket um, I don't have that. It's here. No longer have it in my possession. It was gifted to a coworker who was due to have a baby in the next month or so. So I made that for her and gave it to her. Here. Um, and I want to do talk about some of my acquisitions. I purchased this bag from Ella at No Catchy Name. I love the design. It also came with a little pouch that is in my project bag. I'm not here in with me. Or my other project bag. This is one of my project bags. But this other bag that I have, I take to work with me. I love this design. I think Ella did a wonderful job. And I'm very, very pleased with it. The other acquisition or a project bag that I have purchased is came from Heaven's Peacemaker. Uh, let me hold on just a second. She also sent this. Sorry about that. Beth at Heaven's Peacemaker. She sent this with the bag. Let me see. It's trying. <laughs> there it goes, I think. It's trying, if you can see my screen at things, just a jumping around. There we go. 
So thank you, Beth, for that. I really do appreciate. But this is the bag that I bought from her. I love this. The red truck with the Christmas tree. Um, I'm really happy with it. Drawstring. Um, it has the plaid lining. I like that. But that is it for right now. I have other things that go, I'm going to share. Um, but I need to get those together and organized. But thank you for stopping by and um, sticking around, I guess you could say. I'm going to try to do better about getting videos out. I'm not going to make any promises, though. Um, but I hope everyone's doing well and having a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.